Hello everybody. Today we're going to be looking at how to run something from the command line and then pass default parameters through that command line. Running the command line isn't that hard. Um, just CM, typing CMD into your, into your Windows will give you the command prompt and then technically you can just go and find that executable and run it. But what I would suggest you do is actually first do this, make your life a lot easier. Go into the package AppX manifest. Now it's going to look like this in the beginning with application, visual assets, capabilities, blah, 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 across the top. Uh, that isn't what you really want. The easiest way to do this is to cross this out and then go over to the app manifest and just do a view code. And we're going to scroll all the way down until we get to applications. What we're really want to do is just add an alias so we can run this instead of going and finding the directory that the executable's in. We're going to create a universal ex executable that we can do right from command line. And I called mine file snatch cmd for command uh, dot exe. So now when I bring that command line back up, I can just do file snatch oops, cmd and it should run. And there it is. So basically what you want to do is you want to go find the applications, go to the extensions, um, add the executable name, what you're going to be reproducing. Uh, generally, you the entry point is going to be the same exact name, but with the word app at the end. Then you're adding all these, th just these three lines after that. Make sure you close off your extensions and your applications as well. Once we do that, we're going to go over to the XAML CS page. I tend not to like to mess with this one too much, but I'm more comfortable running things outside of this because you screw this one up, it always feels like <laughs> you can never find your error. Um, but in this case, we kind of have to do this because we're going to, what we're going to do is bring everything that's in our command line. Uh, anything we type here and then we want to bring it in as an argument and the best way to do that is here so what you're going to do is go to your void on activated method and if you don't have one make one so the first thing is very simple we're going to um, create something called a string no uh, we're going to create a holder for all those command line characters and we're just going to cup it in one gigantic string and then we're going to make sure that there's something in the command line. The three other lines are going to be establishing our program and our parameters. So we're going to have um, a set of args that come in. The first one is uh, the actual operation. So you want to separate out the operation with the arguments to the point where you get just our string that we created equal to anything beyond the operation name. Now I grab the arguments and then it's just passing them to our essentially our main page. So let's scroll down. Now you might have an unnavigated already and so some of this stuff should already be in it. If you don't have it in there, go ahead and type that in. Uh, that's kind of beyond our scope a little bit here. Uh, what I really want to focus in on is the, um, the actual passing of the arguments. So. Uh, once we have the arguments, now we got to make them go to the page. So make sure you have this root frame navigate. So let's go to the main page then. And here we need to catch it. And the best way to do it is use this uh, protected override void on navigated to. So we on navigated from, and now we're toing it. And, and as you can see, there's an override there. So there is already a method set up to do this. But in our case, we're going to expand it. It brings in all the arguments as E. Um, and what we want to do is put it into something that I can use in our program. So I just, did, in this case, I just did it as a list. But as you can see right below, I, I tried it as, a, as an array first. Um, so, uh, so now I, I'm creating this list where I'm going to take all these arguments and put them in. Um, 
and I do just a basic if because I want I wanted I don't want to do this every time I run it only when I use the command line so what I do is I check to make sure there are some things coming in it's just not no um, that it's a string and that it is um, not nothing <laughs> so, which an empty string can sometimes uh, throw that so I just do that one uh, as a protection and then now this will only run when you do a command line so now the next step is I have that origin destination that was that was the created list and I'm just going to add these things straight to that list um, and now I already created a stripper so to speak <laughs> of of all the uh, that pulls out spaces so in other words you know if I have um, file snatch CMD Bob space Tom space Rob those spaces help delineate which arguments which but remember we pulled these in as one gigantic string so now what I do is I take that string and break it up according to um, my fine tokens method uh, this was actually a, another video I've already done I'll supply you with the link here um, so that if you don't know how to do it um, I'll fix it nonetheless um, this is gonna if, if you know already know how to do it we're here we strip out the the spaces we take all the individual defaults and put them into that list and populate that list and that's it now it's all ready and usable so let's test it out let's drag this down and I'm going to do the let's see I almost forgot the, <laughs> the name all right CMD so I do file snatch CMD and what happens is this just pops it up it doesn't actually run it because there's no default parameters in here all these boxes radio buttons text boxes all have to be filled in even these guys um, so you can see the get to put three here those have to be all filled in right so what I do is I let people save then I um, let them be able to uh, name that save and then pull that save back out so I have a former save called default that I can load and that I can that will run the program so when I hit enter what should happen is it has a different titles here and it automatically runs it so that default makes it run and makes it and, and populates it with the right folder names all right did I miss anything if if so put it down in the comments if you liked it please give me a like uh, we could always use some more of, uh, traffic in here thank you bye Hey, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button to our channel. This would help us out greatly. If you'd like to support us in other ways, our app is available for purchase at digitaltumult.com or the Microsoft Store. See the links below. We appreciate your support. Thanks.